Okay, so hang on. This is. Hopefully, you can hear me. I was trying to get on sooner, but I had to reinstall StreamYards, Streamlabs, Streamlabs. Now I'm seeing the most amazing vanilla cake recipe, it says. I like peeking something. Okay. All right, that's, that's good. What is that about? Okay, all right, let me just put our tags in. You might not have gotten a notification. Oh, there's a few of you here, 40. Okay, I'll be right there. Let me just put um, at least, oops, some tags in here so that we can be found. All right, so today, um, if you didn't see, I did post the, um, we got a Mari Nicholson, which we went over last night and, not last night, yesterday, and then again last night, and then we went over Molly Tibbetts, and that's going to be jury selection on Molly Tibbetts trial starting Monday. Monday and Tuesday trial should start on Wednesday. I will be covering that. Um, Amari Nicholson, there's uh, the arrest affidavit that we have some more information on, I'll go over that. And then there is a little CJ and that case I uh, updated this afternoon. I think it was four o'clock. I think a lot of you have watched it. Okay, so, oh, and then it's been a busy day. Barry Morphew, there was an arrest affidavit released, but it's about his voter fraud. Apparently, he voted for Suzanne in the presidential election last year. He thought it was okay because everybody was cheating and, you know, he figured he'd give that guy another vote. I think it speaks volumes of Barry's uh, character. And just how above the law he thinks he is and just that he can get away with anything, you know? So... Let me just go in here now. This should be here. I don't remember what. I can't see here. My eyes are so bad. Okay. I did it again. I did it again. I did it the freak again. I went to put the tags in and I went into the live chat. Okay, uh, this will be one second. Now that I'm in the right place. Okay. Sometimes they load up in there, but, in, but yeah, um, really sad about the kids, and I don't know why these parents just keep doing that. And, and what I find is absolutely absurd. If they are drug addicts and they are looking for money or whatever, do you know how much somebody would give them? And I'm not saying, oh, okay, a legal adoption is right or whatever, but there are so many couples desperate for a baby um, that would love that baby and take care of that baby and would give them money for that baby, right or wrong, okay? This is um, just how it is. And so many of them kill their babies when they, when, oh my gosh, there would be people 
standing in line to give them money. And that's that's what I just don't understand. I don't. How they just kill these kids and they don't, you know, it's a time when you, you'd say, oh gosh, who could sell their kid? Or who, the kid would be a hundred times better off, a thousand, a million times. The kid wouldn't be dead. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's infuriating. There's people that can't have kids and want them, and then there's people that these have these kids and they just kill them. Okay, so let me just go here. Now I'm back. Now I'm going to go back into the... Okay. So, hold on. I've got to make this a little bigger because I can't see anything. This is way, way, way too small for me to see anything. Okay, so... Hello, Debbie L. and she, Carolyn, and everyone in chat on my tablet and can't tag. REA, Nana Patty, Sean, Danielle. Debbie L. Mimi, Whisper to Me. Moo of Two. Sean Sneed, I said, right? Um, Tracy W. Hi, Tracy. Vicki, how is everyone? We're good. How are you, Vicki? Tammy McD, hello there. Let's see. Snow remover. Elise K. Two scooter. Let's see. Kevin Leonard. Nicole Griffith. Missing anything? I probably am, but Lisa Burnett makes no sense. Lisa Burnett says, um, "Ouch." Neo, how are you? You've missed us for a few nights. Rosalita, Treasure Cassidy. Ann Bradley, Cindy L, Lorkey. Okay, so let's get into this. Ouch. Oh, and if you haven't seen the new Sunflower collection, I made a new Sunflower collection on merch. And I'll show you what it is really, really briefly. Let me just show you. There's a, there'll be a link, Nightbot will be dropping a link, but it says, in a world full of roses, be a sunflower. On the back, it has the channel. Um, on the front, it's there, and it, there's a lot of different things that have that on there. Comes in all bunches of different colors. Everything, I put everything in as many colors as I can, so whenever you see a sweatshirt here in blue, it's available in whatever colors will work with that design. Just so you know that, because it's only gonna show one color. Like if it's a mask, it'll show that color, but it will then let you click on additional colors. Anyway, that's the new Sunflower collection. There's also the Wet Nuts and the Brushy Brush, and I'm working on some new designs, but I did this one today too. And I went on a bike ride, and what else did I do? I researched cases, took notes, made those videos. I uh, spent time with my family. He went on a bike ride with Luke. He thought he saw a bear. He freaked the freak out of me. Um, it wasn't a bear. It was our neighbors. They had black pants on. It was crazy. And they were like behind something. They were on top of a hill, and something, this big tree that was coming down was obscuring the top of their body. So all we saw were these four black legs and then this shadow created like a body and Luke goes, a bear. And I'm like, oh crap. What? And, and I just almost had a heart attack. And then it wasn't a bear, it was our neighbors. And then, oh, it was, it was, it was crazy. Anyway, but let's see now. Let me go back to 
what we were doing here. Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm trying to find my, my notes now. Come here, notes. Are these them? Oh, I want to tell you about, let me tell you, let me tell you about this, this here. I'll do it. It's all a few true crime headlines. Okay, here, hold on a minute. Let me show, tell you about this. Here we go. So, <clears throat> She's a lawyer in Orlando, Florida. And you know what she did? She did something they recommend that she be disbarred. She had a Land Rover. And she rammed it Betty Broderick style into her ex-husband's house. Remember when Betty Broderick rammed her Bronco into Dan's house? Well, this lady must be playing by the Betty Broderick playbook because, well, this lawyer out of Orlando, Florida rammed her Land Rover into her ex-husband's house and told his girlfriend, I will kill you Biatch. And then she spit on police officers. This is 40 year old Francine Bogomil. Then she later texted her ex and said, Shite bout to get ugly. Yeah, this really happened. Shite bout to get ugly. She violated several laws, court orders, as well as standards for behavior by a member of the Florida Bar. She's been a member of the Florida Bar since 2006. It doesn't look like she's going to be a member much longer. Now, she pleaded no contest, was found guilty one count of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, one count of assault of a law enforcement officer, one count of domestic violence battery, two counts of violating a domestic violence restraining order, and two counts of criminal mischief. If there's any single guys out there, you might be wondering if she's single. And, you know, who could blame you? She's going to be doing 51 weeks in the Orange County Jail. Might be a good time for you to write to her and get to know her which will be followed by a year of community control and two years of modified probation. The state Supreme Court suspended her and ordered a referee to make a discipline recommendation. The referee is the 19th Judicial Circuit Judge Daryl J. Eisenhower, posted his report last week in which it recommended immediate disbarment. <clears throat> She didn't get hit with any child neglect charges, even though she left her five-year-old and her 11-year-old child at home alone for her middle-of-the-night automotive assault on her ex-husband's home. Perhaps proximity prevented prosecution. Her ex-husband and his girlfriend lived only a half a mile from her home. Not a good choice. They already had restraining orders against her. And on April 30th, 2020, at around 3.30 a.m., well, she didn't wait till 3.33, right? If she was here, she would, might have been counting that down. Francine smashed her Land Rover into the back of a rented white GMC Yukon in her ex-husband's driveway. That sent the GMC SUV into the garage door, bending it inward about two to three feet. Her ex-husband came out of the house and he saw his ex-wife hurling objects at his girlfriend's BMW sedan, shattering the windows. Mm -hmm. And then he 
told the Orange County Sheriff's deputies after calling 911 that he went outside to get his girlfriend and former wife. He admitted responding to his ex-wife's two slaps to the face with a slap to her face. Just before police arrived, the girlfriend said, Francine yelled at her, I will kill you, biatch. Her interaction with the arriving Orange County deputies seemed no less belligerent after a deputy told her to stop shouting at him while he was talking to her ex-husband. She said, no, F you, and she spit at him, according to the police report. She posted bond on May 3rd, and she walked out of jail with the standard no-contact orders in place, and she violated them by May 9th. The court documents state that not only did she contact her ex-husband, but she left a social media message for his girlfriend, including one that said, Next is your mom and pops. I'll back the F off if I were you. She sounds like... I was going to say Michelle Boat in the making, but yeah, Betty Broderick, but Michelle Boat, yeah. Just saying, you've been warned to stay away from my kids. A motion from prosecutors to have her bond revoked wasn't ruled on by a wasn't ruled on by Judge Julio Kane later in May 2020, who instead ordered Francine to an inpatient treatment program. The court documents include a November flyer that Francine made and threatened to post at the local Starbucks, Publix, and anywhere else she could. The flyer included a picture of the two kids, a picture of their father, without referring to him as such, and saying their mother hadn't seen them since May 4th. The ensuing text messages say, and each and every day, as my heart bleeds without my kids, your life will become uglier and uglier because this is your choice. You want war. You've got war. I chose peace. You didn't oblige. You can blame yourself because I'm just getting started with the ways I can ruin you. I will F up your world unless you surrender. I'm not backing down this time. Shite about to get ugly. Yeah. So, pretty, pretty interesting, huh? I wonder what kind of lawyer she was. What kind of lawyer was she? Let's see what kind of lawyer she was. That, you know, I mean, they don't get a hold of this. That doesn't sound like that's going to end well, does it? Let's see. He sentenced to 51 weeks in the Orange County Jail. Let me see something here. Oh, here's another picture of her. Hold on. She's got 51 weeks in jail, guys. 51 weeks, maybe. You can be there. Here's another police booking photo. And she was arrested 
last November when she pled no contest to aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and one count of domestic violence battery. Her law license was suspended in March by the Florida State Supreme Court. And just last week, Judge Daryl J. Eisenhower said he recommended immediate disbarment. And let's see what we have here. I know we're going to get to the um, we have um, a woman in Georgia. Hold on about this one. This is another crazy thing. Right there. Looks like a kid. But her name is um, Angela Kathleen Montgomery, age 23. She was arrested on Tuesday afternoon after she abducted six-week-old twins, Maddo and Lorenzo Rogers, from a home in Savannah, Georgia. Police issued an Amber Alert after she shot the boy's mother, Gabrielle Rogers, also 23, in the head and chest, and then fled with the babies. Gabrielle was found with critical gunshot wounds at the scene. The abduction of the scene of the abduction taken to the hospital. Police received a tip that Montgomery and the twins may have been in Effingham County. About four hours after the shooting, they tracked tracked Montgomery down at a home with her boyfriend in Lost Plantation, neighborhood of Rincon. She was found hiding in the home in a closet with the same weapon used to shoot the twins' mother. She was taken into custody on one count of aggravated assault and two counts of kidnapping. She was denied bond on Wednesday. The twin boys were found safe at the home but were transported to a hospital for evaluation. Upon being taken into custody, Montgomery agreed to an interview with the police. During that interview, she told them that she was helping her twin sister, who she doesn't have a twin sister. Twins are very, a lot of people that uh, make up all these cons and stuff, they include twins most of the time. There's twins in there somewhere. Um, Harry's case, there's, there's twins. And that the babies were her sisters. At the end of the hearing, Montgomery's attorney requested she undergo a mental health evaluation. Now, a neighbor, Steve Villani, said Lost Plantation is a quiet neighborhood, and he said Montgomery lived across the street with her husband and a few other children. And these are the twins that she abducted. I'm trying. Suspect said she was pregnant days before. Belani said, this neighbor said, the wife was always nice. I talked to her. They were very nice interactions, no problem with them at all. Another neighbor said that Montgomery told her she was pregnant and was expecting twin babies this month. The neighbor added that Montgomery never looked pregnant. A motive for the kidnapping has not been released. Savannah Police Chief Roy Minter said, What happened today is every mother's worst nightmare. We are so thankful that Matto and Lorenzo were located quickly and were ultimately unharmed. This was an all-hands-on-deck approach. Everyone in the Savannah area was looking for this suspect and the twins. The detectives in this case were quickly tracking down every available lead while working with our local, state, and federal partners. But the case would not have moved as swiftly if it had not been for community assistance. It wasn't immediately it wasn't immediately how Montgomery known how Montgomery came to target her victim. Of note, authorities realized release of the two women were previously known to each other. It remained unclear in what capacity these women knew each other. Now there's an online fundraiser for the twins mother who's undergoing surgery 
as of Thursday night had raised $5,293 as, and they have a $30,000 goal. I'm hoping that she's going to make a full recovery. That was really lucky for her there. Um, okay, now let me just go on to, let me get this stuff on Amari because... So with the first time we reported about Amari, we heard the thing about the girlfriend saying that it was over and someone was going to come to the house. Okay, well, that's going to also show in the arrest affidavit here. Hang on one minute. Where the heck I put my stuff? Three shorts here. Okay, so let me just get a I had everything up here and now everything closed on me. Okay. So according to this affidavit, what happened was, I want to put a picture that I really like on Amari, oh damn it. Okay. And, poor little kid. According to the affidavit, Terrell Rhodes, age 27, allegedly hit Amari three or four times with his fist early in the morning on May 5th inside an apartment at the Emerald Suites. The child's face then turned blue and he stopped breathing, according to the report. Terrell said he attempted CPR, but Amari died. According to the report, Amari's mother, Tyler Nicholson, left for Colorado on April 30th, and during the trip on May 3rd, two days before this allegedly happened, she and Terrell fought over the phone, and Taylor indicated their relationship was over. On May 5th, Terrell told Taylor an unidentified woman had picked Amari up from their apartment. Taylor called 911 from Colorado on May 5th to report what she thought at the time was a kidnapping. She returned to Las Vegas the same day. Police searched homes in Las Vegas, Reno, and Southern California, but they found no traces of Amare. Last Thursday, during a search of the apartment, police said they found a blood sample on a wall, and after undergoing a polygraph test on Tuesday, Police said Terrell admitted to killing Amari. Within the past year, there was at least one report made to Child Protective Services alleging abuse. The agency looked into the allegation but closed the case without ever taking further action. Detectives said that Terrell was their primary suspect when he continued to give his version to um, the media. Okay, He faces one count of first-degree murder, Judge denied bail for him on Wednesday. In addition to the murder charge, Rhodes has four new charges. Thursday, remember, he was resisting a police officer. And then he had a scuffle with them. He grabbed a firearm. Well, he has four charges of assault on a protected person with a deadly weapon. 
He's due in court now Friday morning, tomorrow morning. Okay. So um, I thought he was due back the 17th, but I guess he's going back on these new charges tomorrow morning. So, yeah. And, uh, wow. Rest in peace, little Mario. That's so sad. And and the reason he hit him is because he 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 soiled his uh, pants. The little two year old, you know. Very sad stuff. Okay, now what was that? Um, didn't I see? Hold on a minute. I thought I saw, where's the alert box? How come I can't see, did something play? I heard like a, is there a cat or is it? Let's see. Oh, here we go. How come the cat didn't dance? Thank you, Tammy. Good night, Carolyn and Ramblers. Love you all. Thank you, Tammy. Love you too. Thank you very much. It's very generous. I appreciate it very much. Thank you so much. Okay, now let me go on. Hi, Deb on the move. How are you? Kellyanne, Lola Noble, Alyssa. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is, okay, so we, you heard the, um, I wish I could have seen your reaction to the lawyer and the other thing. Let me just see if there's any other, Martinez, thank you for becoming a, a rambler. Okay, let me see something now. This we can get rid of, right? This, we got this, we got this, 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 this. The rest affidavit said that he would became infuriated after Armani soiled himself. Did I, you know what? I've been calling Amari. Why did they call him Armani? No, his name is Amari. I'm losing my mind. They have this, this road here, uh, road here. Oh my gosh. This is written incorrectly. <laughs> I probably need sleep. Amari is the, okay. Somebody called him Armani here. Uh, he became infuriated after Amari soiled himself several times and admitted that he hit the boy with a closed fist numerous times until the child passed out and started turning blue. He carried Amari's lifeless body out of the apartment and disposed of him at a different location. I don't know. I think that mother's going to get herself arrested. But, okay. Let me go back to... So there's a hero gas station clerk who rescued a kidnap victim suspect now on the run. So what's up with that? Police in Florida are looking for a man who remains on the run after allegedly beating and kidnapping a woman on Sunday. 
Cody Jackson, 32, got into an altercation with the victim at a home in Sefner. Police say Jackson used a piece of wood to strike her on the head before forcing her into the vehicle. And at some point, Jackson allegedly stopped to tie the victim's arms and ankles with extension cords. He then drove to Citrus County, where he stopped at a Sitco gas station. The clerk, Rachel Craddock, told WTVT Media that while Jackson was in the store, the victim managed to free herself. And Jackson reportedly noticed the victim escaping and ran back to his vehicle as the victim ran to a private entrance. She was banging on it, saying, help me, help me, help me. He's going to kill me. He's right there. He's right there. And this clerk said she hurried up and unlocked the door and pulled her in. And I locked that door, Craddock said. Craddock called 911, recalled the woman having a laceration on her head and her hair being matted with blood. She also said the woman had extension cords tied around her arms. Extension cords around her arm. She had matted hair with blood, and all I could think was get her safe into the store with me. Jackson fled the scene, and the vehicle used in Sunday's kidnapping was eventually found in Tampa. Police said Jackson remains at large, and he's unaccounted for. He may be armed with a weapon. They say Sunday's attack was targeted, and the victim is recovering from her injuries. The Hillsborough County Police said that they are still determining what led to the altercation and what the relationship is between the victim and Jackson. And just in case you think you might see him, here's what he looks like. And um, let me see here. Okay, well, I'm going to put the number in Slack because it's been it's been a long day, and we've covered a lot of true crime and news and craziness. You know, I don't do my hair. I want the bike rack. I'm not doing my hair purposely because I'm going to get my, my hair dye tomorrow and I'm going to do my hair. So, let me see now. Um, I think I am getting it. Let me just make sure it's on its way tomorrow because if it's not, that's going to be crap. Um, Yes, it's on its way. Arriving today, like 9 p.m. Okay, so it's arriving today. It's arriving today. That'll be good. That'll be really good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put the number in. Because I might go over there and do something, you know, you never know what I might do. I don't know, I'm not going to be able to stay on super duper late either. Because I'm falling asleep. So, about an hour, and I'm off. Okay, I'm putting this in Slack. Okay. And what else? What else? I'm just checking what's new at Zulily here. Getting to call. So
So, you can call in. You guys can call in. You guys can call in. Okay, so what's going on? Robity Bob. Hi, Julianne. Carolyn, I'm going to color my own hair before Monday. Yeah, I can tell you some tips. Sandra said that you should take the new growth and do it um, like for 15 minutes before you put it on the rest of your hair, like your hair down here, because your ends are going to soak up the dye quicker and then your the bottom of your hair will be darker than the rest of your hair so do the top um, first and then and then do the bottoms the, the rest of it around 15 minutes and 35 minutes like maximum for the color so she's saying if it's 35 minutes do it uh, at least 15 minutes let the stuff stay on the new growth of your hair and then come off Oh, you're welcome to Scooter. You don't have to super chat me. Thank you, though. Um, yeah. I guess that means you're not you're not calling in to say that. You should have called in to say that. Um, do do do. How come I don't see the, the cat dancing? Well, there's the cat. Cat's back. Do you like the cat back? Somebody wanted the cat back. They said, where's the cat? Where's the dog? Did it put two scooters name on there? Or did it just come up and throw the heart? Hey, Mimi, thank you. I'm gonna see, why didn't it, did it should show the name. Doesn't it show the name? Let me see if I have to fix something in there. Cat came back. Why didn't it show the, it should show the alert box. Let me see. Oh, here we go. Somebody's at the door. Oh, W2 Scooter's here. And why are you not putting the person's name on there? The cat's coming out, but I've got to figure out why the cat's not showing the name. Hold on a minute. Donations. Super chat. It says blah, 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 blah. Donated that. It's supposed to show that. Why is it not showing? Title message, animation. Done. Hmm. That's weird. I don't know why it's not showing that. What are you trying to find? Uh, the, why the cat's not showing the name, the name of the person that donated and the amount. 
Oh, okay. She's coming out and throwing the heart. And I don't know what that's about. It's not supposed to be saying okay. who it is. Yeah, and that's what it's supposed to be doing. So what's up? Uh, nothing. Just thought I'd call in real quick, say hi. Mm hmm Nothing exciting. I do go to the doctor in the morning. You do? So, yeah, so I don't want to stay up oh, yeah. late. For, I can't stay up late. My eyes are closing. For your thyroid? Well, yes. I mean, I yeah. mean, for your blood work? You going for your blood work? I ha Yeah, I have to get that done, too. I haven't had that done, but... Yeah, I am going. Finally. So we'll see, right? Hi, Alyssa. And and you're scared? No, not at all. Uh -uh. No, when I go to my oncologist, I get scared. Uh huh. You know, that's just, mm -hmm. you know, how that is, just nerves. And no, this is regular, you know, general. Actually, it's the nurse practitioner because my general doctor, she is on maternity leave. She had her second baby girl, and she won't be back till July. No. So, <laughs> no. So, okay. And then what are, you, what are you doing tomorrow? You said you have to. Uh, what am I doing tomorrow? I have to. I don't know. I just have. What is tomorrow? Friday? Well, I have to find out about those test results in the morning. That should be fun. And, what test uh, results? Oh, I will. I'll tell you, Danielle. Remember the test results I told you about today? The ones that couldn't oh. get to us by 5 o'clock? Yes, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So i got to find okay. out about that. And then, mm -hmm. um, oh, and remind me, I've also asked about the, the three hands. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what you think it is. Okay, is it good? Yeah, it's not bad. Okay. Huh? Okay. It's not always bad, they said. Huh? That person said it's not. No, it's definitely not bad in your case. It doesn't mean okay. it's 100% bad if you see the three. Okay. Okay. Sometimes it just means good things. Oh, um, before I forget, yeah. Danielle just reminded me too. Um, Bonnie has now raised $1,000 for Aaron's farm with her bake sale. Okay. With the bake sale? Really? You were just at 400 yes. the other day. Yes, and now this was the what the second week, right? Yeah, and um, it's up to a thousand now that she's that girl has made. Isn't that crazy? It's crazy. And Whoa. but wait a second, where did you see the other night you were on there and you were like reading totals, like you were seeing it somewhere? Oh, on uh, Aaron's farm, you mean? Yeah, yeah, that's where I saw. Well, Moo had already told me that she had, you know, um, oh, hi, Davina. That she had uh, donated. Anyway, when I was looking on Aaron's farm, just you know, browsing um, the Facebook page, I think it was. But I went to the Facebook page and I couldn't see it. I know, but all I did was I was like scrolling down. Yeah. And as scrolling, different stories would would you know come up. Right. And there, underneath one of them, there was a donate button, and it had Moo's name. And it had uh, like 97 other people. Oh, I didn't see that. So, yeah, um, I don't know. I know at least one other person from here has donated because she messaged me and uh, she was, you know, needing the link and everything. Mm -hmm. So I know. The link is in the thing now. That's very much appreciated. Mm -hmm. And. Yeah, I can't believe she's already made a thousand dollars for them. Is oh, that why? Because they said they raised the donation, uh, not the donation, the reward for Henrietta. Yes, yes. That thanks to a donation or something. Yeah, yeah. Is that right. what, is that what it is? Um. Well, let me get on there and I'll look, and I'll tell you if I see what I can tell. Hi, Davida. Hey. How was work today? I didn't go. You didn't? Why not? Uh-uh. I didn't feel good. You didn't oh, feel good? Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. What I, happened? I don't know what was wrong. It what? was more my stomach, kind of. Oh. But I felt real tired. 
so I called him and I said, you know what? I'm not going to be able to come in. And she said, you're not going to be missing anything anyway. And I said, good. <laughs> oh. hmm. Hi, Alyssa. Hi. Hi, Alyssa. Hi, Alyssa. Hi. So that's interesting. How do you feel now? Uh, okay. I mean, tired, but now it's, you know, getting late, so. Yeah. Hope it, you went out to eat. You don't think it was anything you ate, do you? Thank you. No, because um, it it wasn't like, I, I can't describe it. I don't think it was anything I ate, no. Maybe you did hangover? you have to go to the bathroom? Yeah, yeah. well, it was both my stomach, you know, just was feeling really icky. Yeah. But nothing, I mean, nothing to where I threw up or anything like that. It just felt. Yeah. Were you faking it, Davida, to get a day off work? <laughs> Thanks, Carolyn. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, you can't blame my baking because I haven't been baking yet. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I said, were you faking? I didn't say baking. Oh. <laughs> I said, were you faking to get a day off of work? Oh. You know, like no, kids no. do, like no. kids do. No, 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 I wasn't faking. <laughs> if Jeremy was here, he'd go, woo, turn it up, Davida, turn it up, OJ. <laughs> I thought after you said baking i thought she said dating well because i was like i was like who said baking i thought she was reading the chat or something and somebody said you're baking and now i realized she thought that i said baking oh yeah oh my gosh oh my god no i was i wasn't okay, baking I or faking make it easy it's like me seeing the bear today in the street that wasn't there neighbors that's mine yeah i got to get up work early today i'm not sure why you they got off from work earlier early? yeah they came home earlier and like they have like a little nanny cam and they're like super cool like i don't think they really check or anything but i was like talking a little bit about the situation on my phone and they said that they had a holiday and it's like their, um, you know, their, their religion or I don't know what the proper saying is for it. Their, na their nationality or uh -huh. wherever they're from. Basically, it's a, it's a holiday for them and they forgot. Uh, you know, the mom kind of forgets a lot of stuff like I do. And yeah. so she was like, I forgot. And so we're going to dinner and. And then I was like, oh, okay. And so it was like five and usually I get off at like 8.30. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Or either they like listen on the camera and they're like, I think we might need to let the nanny have a little more time off. She might <laughs> need some personal time. For well, did they, did, are you supposed to work tomorrow? Yeah. Did they say not to come in? They didn't. They oh. didn't. I mean, so probably, probably not. I, and maybe I was just being a little paranoid. Right. You know they have a nanny cam. I mean, they keep it right out there. Yeah. And, and like, I'm fine with it. Like, it's not, like, too intrusive or anything. Like, like the other, that other family had it, like, right in front of the TV and, like, a lower area. And I just thought, so weird. Like, on me. Like, I don't know. I just didn't like that. Like, does it have to be right there all the time? Like, you know. So this one's just, like. You know, so you could see the whole living room type of thing. Not a big deal. I don't feel like it's it's weird or anything, and, and I don't mind. But it just it kind of sucks when like you remember that you're everything can be heard, and then you're like, oh yeah, I don't want to talk about things like that. Mm -hmm. And I did, and I was like, oh, how did that? How did that have sounded? And I just, I was like, gosh, I would never want them to, to feel weird. Cause I've watched the baby over here before and, you know, she's had no problem with it. Like when she's had a house cleaner come and just, and like when maintenance men come, I don't, I don't like it when they come personally. Mm -hmm. Like I just don't feel comfortable. I've had one creep come one time and he was supposed to be putting cable in my house and I lived in a studio by myself, but I always like 
wanted one door open, like you're supposed to have like one back door open or something like that if you live single. And this creep gave me a free porn channel. What? And he was like, oh, I get any of he goes, what's your favorite channel? I'm like, uh, I don't know. I like I like ID, like I like crime shows. And he was like, oh, okay, well, I really hooked you up. He was like, I'll leave it on mine. And he really? It on. Oh, my yeah. gosh. I know. He gave yep. it, but how could he do something? I don't understand how he could do that. That he can do that, he that sure they, won't, they won't bill you for it, all your, like all those stations? I don't know. And then I called and like complained about him and... I don't know, you know, if I got him in trouble or got him fired, but then right after I did that, I was like, great. He knows where I live. Like if he got fired now, like he could might, might feel like he has nothing to lose. Like, yeah. And I was younger, so I was really stupid. So he was like, oh, does anyone else live here with you? And I was like, no. Carolyn, where are you? I'm right here. I just had to get up and order one of my plates. I'm right here. <laughs> You know I have to say that. <laughs> it's okay, Scooter. We won't hurt you. <laughs> Promise. I, she always asks it in such desperation. <laughs> Carolyn, where, where are, are you? you? <laughs> I'm getting one of Lisa D's disgusting yogurts to eat it. <laughs> Like gross. Oh, uh, you know, you okay, know what I've been watching today? I watched some of the weirdest stuff. What'd you watch? But I, well, I'm watching. Ah, <laughs> uh, and then once you watch one, you keep up. Well, for me anyway, I keep on then going down that hole, watching more. But oh, yeah. I'm watching the infestation. And if anyone's here, oh my you know gosh. what? If anyone's here from um, Australia, I think it's Australia. I'm positive. They are having a huge. Is this bugs? No, worse. Mice. Oh, gosh. When I, when I say infest, I'm telling you, my skin was crawling. Why were so, you watching God. that? Why? Ooh. Well, okay, here I go. If it's not goats, it's mice. And you know <laughs> how I feel about mice. They give me the creeps. I can't stand them. But here I am watching it. Because I'll tell you what. It was so unbelievable. Okay. And when I say <laughs> it was nuts. And these people, they're, it, it's a, really, I mean, it's out of and hand. people are losing their businesses they're losing you know the farmers are losing their hay Ugh. um there's thousands get a bunch thousands. of cats oh the cats i mean there isn't even enough cats to take care of i just of them. saw something on youtube was it youtube or yes where they had a cat YouTube. with a mouse in his mouth oh i don't know about that and one. it, it said, it said that mine. some country was setting free like I mean, putting there like 7,000 feral cats to handle their rat problem. That's mm -hmm. probably there. Because, I mean, I it's unbelievable. Too. Where was that tour that I saw that? Yeah, I saw that in uh, New York. No. Oh, in New York. It, I didn't and, see that. It was somewhere else. No. Uh, no. New York. Well, this one, I mean, no. this one was unbelievable. No. I mean, and they... It, Every, I mean, it was all over YouTube, and it's happening right now. And it's, you know, it, the, the schools, the kids have to take their lunch in a, a closed, sealed container. And the mice are oh. running over their desks. They're getting into How their... How did it um, happen? Aren't mice nocturnal? Well, that's the problem. At night, it's even worse. But there's Can't so just... many of them that oh, they're out during the day as well if you go on just to just if you put in australia and uh mice just that's oh, all you need to no, do is come no. on and i'm telling you <laughs> they put a night cam on i but i could not believe what that? i was saying why that would make my skin crawl huh would they make my skin crawl yes 
Oh, yes. Bite the kids. Uh -huh. Yeah. People are waking up in their homes. They're chewing through their doors because there's so many of them and they're biting them and they're crawling in their beds. They're oh. everywhere, everywhere. So if anyone's listening that's in Australia, please, can you let us know about this? Because wow. it's really, a, it, it's awful. It's awful. I mean, I feel so sorry for the people. Oh. Yeah. So that's what I, yeah. <laughs> I was watching. And Scooter's going down mm. other rabbit holes. And you're going down that rabbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. What's, what's Scooter going down? Fundam fundi fundies? Fundamentalist Christians. Oh. <laughs> Fundamentalist Christians and mice. And then this one, now this was also in Australia somewhere, but this was a different situation. It was a person that had a couple rats. Oh, gosh. And they multiplied. Oh, my gosh. And they were a hoarder. Oh, and oh. the rats are everywhere. They're climbing on the trees, and the neighbors are trying to get... Um, them to come in to get them. They're not doing it because there's so much stuff in front of the house. Oh, gosh. And there's I've, so many oh, that they're that. now going into other houses. That happened oh, in a so town bad. near us. There was this uh, church that was oh. then bought as a home or something, or I don't know whose home. It was an abandoned home or something. And whatever it was, there were rats that were in it, and they were coming out, and across the way was a baseball field or something. Oh. And they, they ended up, ha if I could find the article about it, they ended up having to put, like, dynamite underground. Oh, I believe it. Oh, to I get bet. rid of them. I believe it. If you could see what I saw, you would, they, it, it's, um, they're putting, they're spending thousands of dollars on traps, and it's not even touching not even touching the situation. It, it's unbelievable. Oh, I, I just, and, and like they said, I mean, you know, they can carry disease. Hi, and, Aries, oh, yeah. How are you? Not only that, but just the smell. I mean, they said the smell is outrageous, you know, because oh, there's really? just thousands of them. Oh, God. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, I, I I don't know how I even started on it. I saw something on my feed, and then that was it. I was just yeah, like people, Alice, ugh. going and down the hole. Just like get the ones that do it on purpose. They hoard animals, like the ones that hoard cats. Like, gosh, I love my cats, but I mean, you can't keep them all. Like that ends up being animal abuse. And then, can you imagine the smell yeah. of the cat pee? No. No. Oh God, cat pee is so bad. What that? Yeah. Cool. Well, this is a lovely conversation. <laughs> <laughs> but so that's probably why I had some some family from Australia or from the UK with twenty one kids and counting. Are you watching all that crap? No. What's this? Scooter's watching. What's the, 21, what's the Australia one? What's they that? Have, they, not Australia. I think it's the UK, and they have 21 kids. Oh, the rat, the Radfords or something? Maybe. But are you watching that? Because that's that showed up in my feed today. Uh, yes, it's always popping up in mine. Uh, them. I what's watched that about? Twice. What is People it about? You watch it, Scooter? Too. I've never watched it in my life. Yeah, I have. I've watched it a couple times over the years. Well, Davide asked you what it's like. Oh, them? Yeah. Uh, they're, they're, not, uh, they're not bad, that oh. family. You know, they're not these big fundies like so many of these others. So they're not like the Duggars? Why do they have 21 kids oh, then? How come they have 21 kids? Yeah, but I mean, they're not really, from what I remember anyway, they're not as you know bad as them pushing, pushing all that. Oh, and Just like, people. why do they have that many kids? Like, is it no. their religion to only have sex for to have a baby? Yeah, I don't know, but boy, that's yeah. a lot of kids. <laughs> yeah, the kids don't get the attention that they need. No, oh, no. they don't get uh -uh. The, atten the attention they even deserve. Like, that's not fair to the kids. They don't. You know, and I, I just got done. In fact, I gave Moo the uh, link to it. It's a podcast to mm -hmm. this one guy that knew the Duggars from 2004 oh. to 2006. Uh -huh. And he's um, 
he was friends with the kids. He was, I think Josh, the oldest, the one that, you know, was in all that trouble. Right. He was uh, friends with him. Um, and Josh is a year or two older than him. And anyway, um, I just Hi, lost my friend. What did he have to, what did he think? Oh, it's so oh, interesting what he really? said. Yes. So you got yeah. Moo, you got Moo into this now too? Yes, and her daughter, uh, her Florida daughter, I think, is the one into it as well. Isn't that funny? Because of you? No, her Florida daughter was already in on it, into it, but she was thrilled to death to get the podcast. Oh boy. Well, what did he <laughs> say about him? I mean, the yeah, what did was he say? This then? guy. I mean, this this guy is amazing, okay? Um, if you get a chance, you should really listen. He he explains so much of what it's like to grow up in those kinds of families that believe the, uh, what is it called, Carolyn, the, you know, the, the Quiv guys that- Quiverful? Uh, Quiverful? Yeah. Quiv uh, and those oh. two guys, Bill Gothard and somebody else oh. that are- Patriarchs, the, patriarchs, patriarchs, patriarchs. Yeah, and, patriarchs. yeah, and right, and the blanket training, you know, oh, yeah. blanket training. Yes, What's blanket training. The they put a baby on a blanket, Davida, and the baby crawls off that blanket. They hit the baby with a flexible ruler. <gasps> yes. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. Michelle Duggar says, "Oh, these are good." She, I read somewhere because they are very careful that they try not to mention hitting their kids, but. I yeah. saw something from a long time ago where she was explaining about the flexible rulers are really good to use on babies. Oh no! Right? Am I right on that or the not? Baby oh, rolls so. off the blanket. Pretty sure I remember blanket. that. I, allegedly, because I think I remember it from a long time ago. Maybe I'm wrong, but maybe I'm right. What's the point? They don't want the baby. Yeah, to they don't, they don't want the baby call. to move off the blanket. It's to teach the baby that that's where you stay. Right, and that they don't. The whole thing is they do not want you to question. You are to, to obey. On the no first command, you what. obey on that first command. Yes. Wow. They, they say, come here, you go. Spirit. You don't say why. I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> you know, after this game is done, nothing. Right. Oh, my God. And if yeah, you listen well, to that Michael that. Pearl guy, that Michael Pearl guy is yes. insane. Yeah. Yes, it comes from him, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the part Pearl of it. Yeah, and that also the uh, Ted guy, too. Scooter. What, what, Davida? Send me that link. Okay, the messenger. Yeah. He is such a nice man too, and his wife's on there with him. She was um, raised that way as well, but she did not know anything about the Duggar family. She was um, the only thing that they ever watched were um, Roy Rogers and Roy Rogers and Mission Impossible. Um, she knew nothing about the Duggar family. But this kid, you know, well, this man, young man that's talking, he was actually, you know, lived in the area where they were at. And his parents one day said, we're going to go and um, go to the Duggars and meet them tomorrow, go to their house or their church. Is this old? Whatever. Because I feel like I've seen this. How really? old is this? How old is this? What? This guy, the guy Podcast? that says he knew them. Yeah. Oh, he didn't, he only, he knew them back in 2004, five and six. Yeah. He was there when the show was going on. Um, he also, the last time he saw Josh in person was in 2015 at Josh's car lot. And I won't tell you what happened then because, you know, any of you that want to listen to this, I don't want to spoil it for you. Um, but I mean, he is such a nice man. Okay. He's married and has two kids found out that he has autism oh. um, and the whole thing is for three episodes he's reading through his diary at age 15. he kept okay, his diary explain yeah his diary wow yep Hi, Karen. and he just Pam w. he just goes into um such detail about how they make you think you wow. know and how everything is so you know, trying to keep sex down, okay? Yeah, let so me play the devil's go. advocate just for a minute. Not saying that I agree with the duck, but could this guy, I mean, like, do, do you think a 15-year-old would normally keep a diary that listed all that stuff? 
Well, no, it's not that he listed all that stuff. Uh uh, no. Oh, okay. He was so conscientious and he reads excerpts and he kind of explains where he was going, where his head was, and you know how he felt so guilty about some things and he didn't know why his mother was mad at him or because he couldn't get social cues and, um, you know, he was always trying to do his best. So um, when he got up in the morning, he would go out and run around the pond. Um, I forget how many times, um, like three times or something. And that added up to, you know, uh, so many miles or whatever. And then you would go in for breakfast and uh, breakfast was at eight o'clock and then you did homeschooling and, um, he said everything though was about, you know, you weren't supposed to, to um, know. You weren't well, supposed to be interested, okay, in the other. Okay, sex and but there is, but there is kind of like two different, um, complete thing. I don't know. I, I don't know much about it, but from what, okay. From what he was caught with, uh -huh. they're saying it's like the worst stuff that they, these yeah. investigators yeah. have ever seen. Yeah. Okay. That, you know, it's yeah. not just, um, and yeah, I don't know what he was caught with, but I've heard that too, that they were, yes. they were watching him for a couple of and, years. And it's all like really, really young children, very young yes. children under the age yes. of 12, very, very young. They could be as soon as 18 months, 18 yeah. months to 12 years old. Oh my yeah. God. Now, 18 months. Yeah. The thing yes. is, I just want to say one thing. Can I just say one thing? Because, okay. I don't remember how old he was when he, that whatever he touched some girls were his sister or his not his sister. Yeah. They were the friends. But wait his a minute. Sisters. Yeah, but wait. I'm more apt to see that as not it's not okay, okay. But what I'm trying right. to say, they raise these kids in a house where, like you just said, they you know they they tell them this is no not, it's not normal. You can't do this. You can't. Do, and they they mm -hmm. keep them segregated. They enforce like, and then you know, I mean, there's other little kids. Like if they were all the same age, and they're kind of like very immature, mm -hmm. you know, there's little kids that play doctor, whatever, when they're little kids, right? right? right, right As kids, right. I'm more apt right. to say that stuff, especially in that house, if they're all around the same age, whatever. That I, I would even say, look, they, they probably did it to this kid. I I agree. Do, I do agree you know what I'm you. saying? I mean, I mean, I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. That the whole way that they raise these kids, that normal well, kids, it was done to him too. No, not even that, Alyssa. But you know how oh. normal little kids, you, they they play doctor or whatever, right? Show yeah. me your yeah. thing. I'll show you whatever, whatever the hell they do. Okay, yeah. that happens. You talk to almost anybody. They'll say, oh, that happens. Whatever it is, okay? That's more okay than a, than a 30-some-odd-year-old man mm -hmm. now looking at an 18-month-old. That's scary yeah. stuff. Yeah. That doesn't fall yeah. in from, because a lot of people are saying, well, oh, well, some, I'm more apt to say, I bet you a lot of them do what he did in families like that. You know, yeah. I, I yeah. bet you a lot of them do, especially when they were her friends. Because they're but like, I, obviously a lot of them them out when he was a kid. What? Because he thought it was obviously more than him just uh, touching his sisters. Yeah. Um, what was he, he doing? Was a kid because he goes into what happened in the church and how all the men there, you know, that uh, Josh had to get up and, and, uh, he had to make an apology, but wasn't that because of the, the, what happened when he was a kid? Yeah, and he was a kid then. He was still a teen. Right. And that's... they sent him to this guy's house. Yeah. And he had to work there. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Right. Yeah. But, but how does that equate? Like, okay. But what obviously I'm trying to he say... did more than just a little bit of uh, playing doctor. Curiosity, well, a... yeah. That's... He was so, one yeah, of those he's kids. definitely... <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, but see, I just don't understand because some people are saying, well, you see, because like as if that would say that's child porn. He was their yeah. age. So how yeah, would that? Yeah, that wasn't. What I if, know. But how, right. right. So then for him to then go to looking at kids, 
is weird. I'm not a kid anymore, so that's not okay. Right. If he was a kid, yeah. then it's curiosity playing doctor. Right. Right. But I think with him, even as a kid, it was more than a curiosity and not just playing doctor. He was one of those kids that was constantly. Oh, that's what you're Okay. You know, that's what I'm trying to say. Yes. Yeah. So it was creepy even when he was young. I mean, yeah. did he did he have um, actual, like, relations with his sister? No. They, never said, they interviewed no. the sisters, but what he did, I don't think, was a normal thing because the sisters, they on a news show, they, I don't know if you saw it, you probably did. Um, they actually talked to them and asked them. And it was the three, it was Jen, Jen, um, was it Jenna, Jill, G Ginger? and uh, Ginger. And yeah, they were crying and they, oh. they said it wasn't right. So, I mean, it wasn't Ooh. right. What he did was obviously, I mean, even now if they were older, it affected 13. them. 13, man, that's old. That's yeah, that's but old. when that first came out, what, back in 20, not this one, but the one, you know, before. A few yeah, years it back. was a few okay. years ago, yeah. Yeah, when that one first came back, I, I was reading about it then at that time. And, you know, there was also, the, it wasn't just Jessa, uh, Jill, Jill, and Jessa, and Ginger. It was uh, Joanna. And she oh, was really? like five, yes, she was five years old. Wow. And he was oh. a teenager. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he, he, he had, had her problem. name marked out. But oh, he didn't, okay. He didn't oh, wow. And she was five years old, and that you know he was doing things with her too. Oh, wow! Yeah. Wow! I didn't know that story no, I didn't really know that at all. Went, no. <laughs> and his, well, his wife yeah, just a babysitter. What? Yeah, he did it to a babysitter, a oh. babysitter there as well when he was a teen. It wasn't just his oh, sister. Wow! And it's probably other girls that never have come forward. Right. But how know? old was the babysitter? Yeah. Well, she would have been a teen then too. But see, you know. that, that how do you know that's not? I, I don't know. No, oh, he's no, he, Carolyn. He's got him. Oh, wow. I'm not saying he doesn't have a problem. I'm not saying he doesn't have a problem. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying I don't necessarily know that if he was just a teenager and was with a teenager babysitter. I, I think a lot of it has to, sensual, but I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know enough about it, but it just, I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to say like, there's so many mm -hmm. kids that do that kind of thing with, with, with other kids. Right. right. Exactly. Okay. Oh, and that's they don't I turn thought. out to be what, you know, looking at uh, CP on their, computers and downloading 18 month old babies and i just think that in families like that where they're like they're told like oh you shouldn't have that urge or you shouldn't have this you shouldn't have that and that they're almost inviting it because like what are they going to do with all of that yeah. Yeah. stuff yeah so i think it's probably a lot more prevalent but i don't think that those kids then go up and do what he does. Right. But I don't right. think one is necessarily contingent on the other. I think he had something else because there's something that's making him, for whatever reason, uh, get aroused or whatever yes. over young, young, young children. Uh huh. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. It's, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't believe it's anything to do with the fundy stuff. That might have just. No, made not it... the fundy stuff, but I mean, even like. If he was the one that like a teenager, you know, in that age range and was doing something, mm -hmm. I don't necessarily think that that is really connected to the children. I think he had something else going on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? What do you mean? Like somebody doing that to him or something or? No, no, I just think... something in, in his head, whatever, psychological or whatever, that would make him want to look at children, little babies uh-huh you know yeah, what i mean like, oh like yeah i agree with you yeah well, yeah he definitely got to him, 
yeah, something happened to him or, you know, they say, you know, rape isn't about really the sex, it's about the power type of thing too. And, you know, plus if something happened to him, that's why the younger kid thing, but then also him being sexual with then the same age, that's just him being promiscuous because he wasn't allowed to do that. So it's like both. It's not yeah, all but the there's so thing. many kids. Like, I, I can't tell you how many people I've heard, you know, have been with, not. I'm not saying they're brothers and sisters, but just around in general. Even, you know, I that I. Yeah. To me, if like somebody says, "Oh gosh, he was," you know, they found him in the barn with uh, Jenny down the street as the babysitter, and they were fooling around. I oh, wouldn't no. think that much of that. No. Yeah. But no, no. You say yeah. that he's fooling around with an 18 month old baby. Yeah, that's really troublesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Watching, watching that, you know, he was right. watching. Mm -hmm. And uh, this guy said that, uh, that when they were over at their house at, at the Duggars, it's when they lived in that one of the smaller homes. Okay. Yeah. And uh -huh. He, um, you know, they did the homeschooling. Well, Josh showed him, you know, their computers and they had the same kind of learning system that this family did. And Josh showed him his computer. And he said it was like a state of the art type deal that Josh had, you know, Josh was like the golden child, the golden boy. And that Josh had, he knew everything about it. He even knew about that. Uh, you know, what's that thing that Josh had on his computer that breaks it down into two different, one oh, computer. Oh yeah, something like that. But yeah, yes. right. he had like another. Yeah, Josh had that then, Josh told him all about it back then. When he was a teen. Well, yeah. But what was he looking up then? Did the guy say what he was looking up? No, no, he didn't. Mm -mm. I wonder if it was just regular stuff. And he said he really liked him, you know, he was, you know, just a fun loving guy and everything like that kid. But he said once he came back from that uh, camp, he had to come back for a, the show, he said, because TLC was filming and they made arrangements for him to come back so that he could be seen and that his head was all shaved. And he said uh, that Josh was like, not the same person after that, you know, they, he, they did something to him there. Well, they were trying to get that, get that out of him, whatever was going but on. With is him. he the oldest? Yeah. He's the oldest. Yeah. He's the oldest kid. Uh, yeah. And they had all the plans for him, you know, to run for office and all that. And he had that job at uh, the family, what was protection, it? Protection, family protection. And family was, protection? Um, yeah. Yeah, something to do with family protection, yeah. Have, any, very of the, have any of those kids moved away from, like said they're not gonna follow you yes. that? Yes, yeah. Um, actually, Ginger is out here, she's in yeah. LA. She's in California. With but isn't husband. she still married to a guy like that and having kid after kid after kid? She no. has two kids, but she, she does wear kids. pants now. Yep. And shorts. She and has two kids. And... Wait, she has two kids? Yeah. Yep. And is, is she stopping? No. No. I don't think so, but I don't and know. Is her husband? And Jill only has two. Is her husband that kind of guy? No, he's a different... Um, He's not of the same uh, religion. church as them. Because didn't some of them marry those Bates people? No, none of them have. Oh. Uh -uh. What's going on with weird. that family? That family is pretty weird too, right? Can you believe I just started following one of those Bates girls on YouTube last night? Oh my gosh. Bates? It's the other big well, family. They, they they didn't get as they they didn't get as popular as the um right yes the Duggars but they're the Duggars yeah, friends they don't sound and they have and quite, I, they have quite a few kids. How many kids, Scooter? The Bates didn't they have uh weren't they one or two behind Michelle and Jim Bob? Something like that, sixteen maybe seventeen. They had a lot. And their girls are all grown up now, and and. Well, the one I started following last night, I only did because she popped up in Joy Anna's uh, uh, vlog that I was watching. Joy Anna went down there to surprise her for something down to Florida. 
And I thought, oh, that's one of the Bates girls. Okay. And I started following her. She's married and has a little baby girl. Um, and she seems different, this Carlin, from what I remember her from the show. You know, she seemed a little more normal. Like, do you remember Sunny Bunny? Um, remember Sunny Bunny? Yes. And she had, do you remember she told us that story about her son and his friend and what they ended up doing and how she, calm she was when she went in there and everything's fine? You remember that? Or you don't remember that? No, I don't remember that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was like, wow, she had a lot. Yeah. They, they were, I don't know how old, but um, I think they were, one was, uh, do we let's just say one was doing something to the other one. And they, they were like the two mothers were meeting downstairs and I don't know how old the kids were, um, both boys and they might have been because they were they were old enough that she was able when she explained to her son that, oh, yeah, she was like that. Yeah, she was, cra I mean, crazy good with the like she didn't freak out. Their friend was freaking the freak out. She said, let me handle it. And she told the. The son that yeah that might have felt good or whatever it is but I, I forget she's just still on here somewhere um, I do remember that kind of now yeah, yeah but the friend was like freaking the freak out and yeah. and Sunny Bunny just handled this thing but that's what I mean about kids that at any time can do something that you might think like, oh my gosh, are they ruined, destroyed for life or something. Mm -hmm. But it, it's not. That, that kind of stuff happens with kids, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's what I, that's all I'm saying. So yeah. I right, bet right. you what, I don't know exactly because I never delved into it and, and what you say that you know what he did. When I heard, I thought it was just some, you know, like doctor stuff or no uh -uh. no it was more uh -uh. no okay and more than like just that. one time you know it sounds like it was a constant thing with those with his sisters mm -hmm. you know for quite a while not well just they're not gonna time. let him back with his own children i know thank goodness and i what i'm worried about is i'm hoping to god he never did anything with his own children Really, Alyssa? That's what I'm wondering, you know. I, I wouldn't yeah, have no. asked. Oh, and I was uh, watching whose video? Jessa's. Because <sighs> Jessa, Joy, and Jill all have vlogs on YouTube, okay? Right. And I watch them off and on, not all the time. Anyway, I watched uh, the Duggar Family Christmas 2020. It's son Je Jessa was filming it. And Josh, when he comes in... He looks so weird. I swear that guy is, he's an alcoholic or. Oh, he looks like an alcoholic because he's red in the face like. Drugs oh, yeah. Or he's definitely doing something. You see him walk in and he's, he's walking so fast and he's carrying this big mug of something and he's, he's got his phone out and filming something. I mean, just, he looks so out of place. It was bizarre. I've never seen him act like that. He didn't have well, any kids? With, like he wasn't holding his kids and stuff? No, he walked in by himself. Anna, I think, was already there with the kids. Because they lived there on the property, I guess, behind the parents in one of the houses out what there. What is his wife saying about this? You think she's going to stay with him? Yes. What is she saying? Uh, didn't she stay what? before with him? They I before she knew all about it, before they got married. Yeah. Yeah. God, what is she saying? I couldn't. Though? I don't know what his wife's saying now. I don't know. Alyssa is say, Alessia is saying that um, one of the girls was having sex outside of marriage. Oh, really? Who? I don't. She said the one after. Would you say Alicia? She's going out on her husband. No, she the one before of the daughters before she got married. Oh. Next. Dean, I wonder which one that was and how she knows that. Yeah, how do you know that, Alicia? Well, you know, Jill, I mean, she, her husband does not want her around that family right now. Right, yeah. She doesn't go around them. Uh-uh. But did he say, because somebody said that I saw, I don't watch it, but they said I didn't do it. Did he have an explanation for what happened with, 
Has mean anybody, Josh? Yeah. Has anybody said anything about it? All it says in the report, because I read the police report, the whole thing. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And oh. uh, he said, why are you here? Um, was somebody looking up child porn? Oh, I heard that. Yeah. He yeah. did say that. That's he did. in the I heard police. that. Yeah. And, yeah. That's in there. And then he said, well, you know, other other family members use this computer, too. Other family well, members. But this guy that has the podcast, he said back in 2015 when he saw Josh that, you know, Josh told him then that Anna was the only, that Anna, you know, held him accountable by, she was the only other person that was able. Oh, the computer you know, stuff? Yeah. And yeah, every time yeah. he went somewhere, it went to her phone or something, right? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. But he did it. He even had a VPN, Mamie says. He admitted it. He admitted it? Because how come I'm seeing all the headlines? I didn't do it. It's not me. He blamed yeah, it the computer on an ex-employee, but didn't have... No, Pam W. says he's blaming it on an ex-employee, but doesn't have any names. Well, when the FBI showed up, or whoever it was, at his workplace, his car lot, that's when he said, what are you doing looking... For Oh, what is going on? What, you're looking for child porn? You know, you would think, hello, it'd be something about the cars or... Right. But the police <laughs> yeah. put that in there that that's what he said. When does his trial start? I don't know. But he's out on bail right now. Yeah, I saw that. And you know that she's staying with him? So long ago. He's staying with family members of right. her but three she, friends. And, and I heard that there is a girl in that house. Oh, really? In the house that he's staying, a young girl, like 20 years old. Well, that could be possible. He just can't, he can't be around anyone under 18. Okay. I was mm -hmm. wondering if it was boy, little boys and little girls. Uh, I wonder if any of it is his kids. But to see uh, his kids, he has to be supervised. No, not no. just by Anna, yeah. you know, not just by her. I don't know who it is. 18 but... months old. How sad for his kids. I know. You know, and I wouldn't be surprised if he hasn't messed around with his own kids. Yeah, oh, I, yeah. Just yeah. I, I just said that. I just said that. It wouldn't surprise yeah. me. I just said that, yeah. Sorry, but yeah. It wouldn't surprise he me. He was on Ashley Madison for a while, and that those those yeah. are like uh, regular girls, of age girls, right? So yeah. he's like right. he's like a very well-rounded um, offender, whatever, uh, cheater. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm yeah, saying? He's doing he's that. Web, like, yeah. Did he go with, uh, isn't Ashley Madison their escorts, aren't they? Right, I think so. Uh -huh. I wonder, did he go with those escorts? Uh, mm. supposedly had a fling supposedly with some woman but then didn't they say he didn't that, that it never I don't yeah, know I don't know worked out or escorts are supposed to date married men and be discreet yes 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 Hi, yes you know, it, would yeah. be, it would yeah. be less disgusting if it was just that you know he was going with women yeah, than, than he's good. going with that he's 18 months old you know I mean yeah. Yeah, I guess the movie yeah. or whatever that he was downloading was one that was oh. about an 18 month old and they said don't ever try to look it up. Oh Ugh. god. Oh, oh no, my no god. my gosh. No way. Well, no, yeah. I'm just saying from what I've read, they they said that Yeah. it was a myth. You know, people thought this was never true about this oh, little baby. Oh, girl. yeah. But it turns out that yes, it was. It was all true. And that's what he oh. was looking up. I know the name of it, and I won't say what but it is. But wait, I'm surprised that. Hold on a minute. He doesn't say that he was researching this or something, <laughs> or or that he was. Yeah, you think he'd try to make up something? It must have know. been more than one baby, because if it's more than one naked baby, he couldn't say anything. You know, I don't know. God. I mean, what could you even do? Him. And he, you, but you cannot fix those kind of people. No. That's wired in their brain. Oh, no. yeah. They 
just, I honestly think people like that just need to die because I think rapists are worse than murderers because they really fuck you. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, because they really mess people up for the rest of their life. Lives up for the rest yeah. of their lives, and then, and then they those people mess up other people's lives because those people end up being like addicted mm-hmm. to drugs or or they can end up raping people or you know what I mean it's just it's just ruins life after life after life like it's just the worst thing that could ever that's why even criminals you know people that people hate hate those people because they even hate them because they know that they're there for that reason <laughs> you know yeah, I think I told you guys this. I think I told you guys this before. Um, when I was a kid, I had a cousin, but he was not blood related. Okay, mm-hmm. but um, it was my uncle's son. You know, we always said <laughs> son because they'd been together since he was a baby. And anyway, he always had something wrong with him sexually. Mm-hmm. I mean, he was like oversexed. Wow. Okay, because, oh my gosh, the kid, how how much younger was he than me? Um, I would, he was maybe five years younger than me, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, and, uh, but he would not leave me alone. Oh my gosh, it was horrible, oh. okay? And when I would go to sleep, I, I went over there, you know, to spend the night um, up for a few nights. Wow. And I had to keep uh, shorts on underneath my nightgown. I was maybe, Oh my gosh. I think I was 11, maybe 10, 11, probably 11 or 12. And I would keep these shorts on. Um, I would wear, you know, a bra and everything because I would wake up and there he was. Oh. That kid was right there in the room with me. And finally, I told him, I said, if you keep this up, I'm telling your dad. Okay. And when his God. dad got mad, his dad would beat him. Wow. And finally, I think it was like the third morning. I couldn't take it anymore because he was just driving me nuts. Yeah. And um, and he was real goofy acting too, you know? But I just couldn't take it anymore. And I finally told his dad. And he did. He was, I felt bad then because, you know, he was, he was like hitting hitting him with his palm in the chest, like pushing him and saying, why do you keep doing that to Debbie? You know, why, why do you keep, you know, trying to touch her here and there and just stop it. And, but I mean, that kid was always that way. You could never have fun around him. Mm. Oh, because that's what he always they... had on his mind. Put him in some therapy or something to figure out what happened. What happened to I the kid? Like what happened that. to him? Yeah. Well, he was always goofy. Yeah. And uh, then uh, later on, um, the last time I saw him was like, uh, I'm going to say 1989. Right. And he saw me where I was working at a, a hamburger place, a fast food place. And there he was. And I mean, it was nice to see him then. He still looked goofy, but <laughs> I had the <laughs> counter between him and I. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, you don't know if he got married or what? Like he, he, I heard he had a girlfriend and stuff. Yeah. But that was all I ever heard. I don't think he ever had any kids. And he was killed right after that. Oh, my oh. gosh. Really? Um, yeah, by a train. Oh, my yeah. God. He fell asleep on on the railroad tracks near that restaurant that I worked at. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, he was out drinking, I guess, with friends and walking around and walked on the railroad track, passed out on it, and was killed. Wow. Oh my god. You know what's weird? What? Is he and hit by that train when he was two years old on that same track. He was hit uh, by the train? Yes, in the car with his mother. What? Yes, his mom's car got stuck on the train track down by 
where my grandparents live. And in fact, they were heading to my grandparents, okay, my granny's house. And the train or her car stalled. She hurry up and um, tried to get Eddie out of the car. Mm. And the train was coming. The train couldn't stop. It hit them. Ugh. Hit them both. And uh, but she got out. She she got him out of the car and went running and screaming with him. And his stomach had been, you know, like torn open. The Ooh. abdomen. But uh, really you know, weird. I wonder yeah. if he like actually like killed himself Ugh. there. I don't know. You know, other people were saying that too. You know, that's so weird that that many years later, mm. that same train track, mm -hmm. and the train takes him out that time. You know. Yeah, I bet he did because obviously, I think he was molested, and obviously, I think he had a lot of issues, and it's just too much of a coincidence. And I've seen people that kill themselves like that you know that's he could have you know i've always wondered that yeah. and he wasn't very old you know yeah like i said he was five years younger than me so he was probably what maybe 29 28 something like that when he died oh wow hmm. oh. that's bad crazy but let me just say one more thing. Like I said, this he was oversexed. And let me just say that you could you always knew it. Uh, uh -huh. Physically, you know what I mean? Yep. Even oh. as a little boy, a little boy. Like it never, you know what I mean? It yeah, never, yeah. Maybe he had something wrong with it. Like, you know, I, I don't know some kind of uh, imbalance that's crazy yeah or maybe something happened to him even when he was in the car accident to his brain that could be right mm -hmm. I don't know. you never know so he had a huge scar down his stomach you know this mm. great big scar i mean it's a wonder he lived his mother must not have been hit by the train. She got him out of the car, but somehow his stomach was still, you know. Who, sure, sure. Yeah. You mean, you mean Josh, Josh Duggar? Is that who? I'm so lost. It. The ones looking up the little babies? Yeah, they know. That's wrong, right? heard about that mommy told us before when I went for information I just can't believe she wants to stay married to him that's what I'm asking did she did she come out and say something after this new stuff yeah they said she's gonna stay by him yeah but did she I heard that she was I don't know where I heard somewhere right after it happened that she was like flipping out that she was flipping well, out at someone's house. She was flipping out. That I heard that somewhere. I don't know, Sharsha. Well, you she said they know been. that it's wrong, and they don't. I'm trying to figure out who. What's the excuse for all the other child? Oh, you the ones that lie. I don't know. I have no idea. Because I thought he, he had done something like a long, long time ago, and then she stayed with him. So he did he do something twice like. She stayed with him then, and then he did something again with the, the kid porn? I don't know. I remember he did something, like, with a child or something really bad. Who, Josh? Before. I thought so, or somebody in that family. It would know it was the stuff with the sisters, wasn't it? That's Maybe. all I ever It was, was the, and that was what happened a long time ago? Yeah. When he was a teenager. Okay. Mm -hmm. And she stayed with him for that? Well, I don't even or know if they were... stayed with him? I, I, I don't even know when he was a teenager, he wasn't married to her. No. Yeah. All I remember is somebody in that family did something really creepy in the... In oh, okay. The no life. problem. Sure, sure. Just trying to figure out what, what you, where you were, what you were saying with that when you said, then you know they're wrong and they keep doing it. That's what I'd like to know, Deidre Realtor. 
first of the 500 kids that turned well, it turns out to be a maggot. Yeah, didn't they want to press charges on him? The girl that, not his sisters when he did that with all them, but the other girl that was there in the house, wasn't know. her family wanting to press charges? And they That's what I thought. They stopped it somehow. I yeah, don't know. I, I, yeah, something happened like that. Yeah, and so that's, yeah, so that was, Anna was told all about that before she married Josh. Because they knew she was going to find out. So she, she admitted before, that she knew all that. Before she married him? Yeah, they told yeah, her. with the sisters, yeah. Oh, my gosh. And with that babysitter or the, because he was engaged to some other girl, too, recording before Anna. And that oh. didn't work out. Yeah. yeah, Mimi Forsythe says, you are correct, Scooter. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, there was that other girl. How they got her, how they talked them out of not uh, pressing charges on him. I don't know. Maybe they paid the family off or something. Probably. But yeah, I used to, I read all about that when it first happened years back. And I thought, yeah. oh my God, he was, he was touching little Joy Anna, five years old. Oh, um, yeah. she, she seems angry, Joy Anna. Joanna. Oh, yeah. <sighs> talked about her being on his lap and, oh. you know, sitting there at the table in a chair and her not having underwear on. Ew. And, dress and yeah, yeah. Yeah. Who talked about that? It was in that report that I read years ago. The charges that they, when they, uh, you know, when he was a teen. Wonder why they didn't say that when the other two were being uh, interviewed? Maybe because she was too young still. Probably, and they don't didn't want people to know that it was her. Right. But I mean, easy deduction you you could tell which kid it was. Oh my god! Ugh. And right then was I thought, oh my god, there's one hundred percent this kid just wasn't. Uh, Curious. Are you telling uh -oh. me he was like 16 sitting at the dinner table with people around him? Well, I, they didn't say dinner table, you know, but they said, you know, that she was on his lap and. And he was, they, they, they were, he was in his late teens and she was five years old? When she was five, yeah. yeah. He's quite a bit older than her. Yeah. So he was probably what, 15 then or something? Uh, at least yeah at least and his, and his girlfriend knew about it and still married why didn't him. she why didn't the little kid have underwear on did he take them off of her they did i don't know i i just went you know i was reading that uh, report from years back that's when i was all into that and was following all those groups on the internet and they had the actual you know police reports and everything so you were following these people years ago Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah, I, I did years ago. I they remember just hearing always, about uh, something about know. it years ago, but I didn't know the details. But it was a big thing. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's just sick. And all oh. you had to do is go to counseling for that, right? Yeah. Well, with that he guy who went and stayed at that uh, pond, somebody. Mm -hmm. Are you serious? Yeah. Uh, and oh my god! And digging a big hole and went to a freaking pond. Yeah, he wasn't smoking. <laughs> oh my god! Huh? That's crazy. Hi, Hazel. Um, yeah, wow. You could try to watch that Jessa Duggar's vlog, the Duggar family Christmas that she has yeah, up. Well. When you see him come in the house, because, you know, they hardly, they don't show him on camera, just like TLC, you know, not on purpose. Right? right? You can tell. Yeah. You can tell nobody really wants to be around him. Uh-huh. <laughs> and he comes walking in like he doesn't want to pay him and look bad too like 
he's almost running in the house. It was really weird. Yeah. Jeez. Weirdo. Yeah, you're right, Jake. Yeah, free, free. It's called child abuse, not child porn. <laughs> yeah, so you know, you see yeah. things. Yeah. And the guy that did the podcast, I found him through Reddit. And he doesn't ask me anything in there. And and that's when he did, you know. He, I wait, saw is he a podcast or is it on YouTube? His uh, podcast is on YouTube. There's three of them. Send me a link to that guy. Get the link. And then, I can, do you ever follow in Reddit? Because I'm on the link there. <laughs> The site. You're on the link where? Well, the, the Reddit site that has him in it, you know, the Douglas. Oh, oh, oh. Put to work He's just very informative of how that all works, all the fundies and how they fill in things. Young you know, his two. wife, she said her mother put uh, a shirt on the Little Mermaid, the little cartoon figure. Who said that? The guy that has the podcast, his wife. Oh. She was raised in a family similar, but uh -huh. did not know anything about the Duggars. Right. Well, yeah, because it wasn't modest. Yeah. So right. she puts a shirt on the Little Mermaid. Her mother, you know, in the book that she had of the Little Mermaid, her mom made like a little uh, posty shirt, post-it shirt or something, some kind of thing to put a shirt on. And she couldn't wear her seashells. Well, the bra top, you know, the yes. uh, the purple I mean, bikini like, top. She couldn't wear that. Oh, yeah. boy. We can't do anything. Crazy. Reddit is where all the goods are. My sweet, crazy son. <laughs> the father was best friends with the sheriff, and the sheriff went to prison... Really? Probably won't take the jury long for that one. Uh, Ann Bradley, are you in Slack? Because I could uh, send you the link in there for the podcast. Yeah, Such a nice man. Gosh, I really like him. Him and his wife. But they're out of that stuff now? He doesn't say what religion, but yeah, they're definitely out of the fun fundamentalist, yes. Hmm. They're out of there. What are you going to catch her up on, Aries girl? What is she doing, sweet crazy friend? I remember when right? we were on strike. You know? She went and saw it. Sorry, Davida. She looked that up and she said that I'm. you're so right about him coming in there and how weird he looked. That was just so strange. Mm. What are you catching Sweet Crazy Brown up on? Something we missed? I know this. Sully, oh, somebody's getting, Sully's getting so upset about something. Let me see here. It isn't the Mormons. It's, um. Oh, it's sorry, the other, Sully. The, oh, the Mennonites? Mm-hmm. And one of the girls we worked with she came in, she used to come into the store, and they would be dressed kind of like the Duggars, long dresses, their skirts, and all that. Well, anyway, years later, she started working at the store, and then we went on strike, and um, in that time that we were on strike, because we were on strike almost six months in the, in the grocery industry, and so when we were on the picket line, this uh, girl, she, her husband asked her for a divorce. So while we were up there, you know, we started talking to her and I said, why don't you, you know, cut your hair a little bit? Cause she, it was real straggly and long and gray. Long story short, she, she went to the beauty shop, got her hair done, got it dyed, bought some decent clothes you wouldn't have believed what she looked like. She looked so much better. And then um, she started dating people. I mean, 
<laughs> and I remember one of my friends, they go, gosh, I wonder if we created a monster. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, well, it couldn't be much worse than what she was doing. And, um, but she started having a, you know, fun time because she was just so, um, I would call her what you guys call a fundy. I haven't heard that term, but I would consider that she was. And uh, she, she made quite a, an about face when, we, when she went on strike with us. <laughs> wow. What happened to Alyssa? She probably, her phone probably died or something. Oh, okay. I don't know, but... Uh, oh, you're tired, you're going. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go. Yeah. My eyes are like dry. And I've gotta get up early tomorrow for real early tomorrow, get to make none. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow, but, um, and, I, and if I have my hair, I'm gonna do my hair. I might even come on and do it in the afternoon. I don't know. Wow, what a trooper. I am. That'd be fun. <laughs> Ride from the bathroom. <laughs> see what it looks like. That would be fun. I hope you do. Okay, we'll see how it goes. What time do you get back from the doctor, Scooter? Um, I should get back about noon, hopefully. I, I thought Scooter was going to be long. like those ones. Yeah, I've got a real early appointment. When is it? One o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> got to get up early for that. <laughs> I have to take Lexi into school, too, before that. She has to actually go into school tomorrow. <laughs> Okay. I should take her there too. <laughs> Make sure and send me that link, Scooter. Yes, I will. As soon oh, as we I should get be off. back by four. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's an early appointment, Vita. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh gosh. All right. I anyway, I'll okay. see you guys tomorrow. Love you. Stay. Bye, stay guys. Dancing. Love you. Bye. Love you. Good bless. Bye, Thank you to the moderators. Thank you guys. In the chat. Donate we'll to Aaron's tomorrow. farm if you can. Yeah, Aaron's farm. The links are in there to donate or go Aaron's farm on Facebook and S uh, and what is it? NPF and what is it? Non for profit. Non for profit and FP. Yeah. All right. See you guys later. Yeah, scroll down and you'll see donate buttons. Yeah, and a lawn like a turkey. On Facebook. Yeah, on Facebook. All right. Bye guys. Bye.